I won't tell him anything. A device that pumps highly compressed air. Oh God, some poor souls hung herself. Hello again. Mr. Walters. Look, miss, I only want a conversation. There's no harm in that, right? There's plenty of harm. It's not wise to be seen gossiping with outsiders. How about playing dumb for a few minutes? No. It won't. She's too frightened to talk to me. But this lady knows something. The window looks into some old passageway. What do you know about the variety store robbery, old timer? That'd be Tom's old store. Stacked with all sorts of knickknacks and such. So you know Tom Waits? I know he took the third oath that I wouldn't. I... I'd rather die than take that. What oaths? I don't understand. <laughs> Just fetch him a bottle of fine liquor, young fella, and I'll tell you all. Where can I find this Thomas Waite? Dark Street. Back in old lady Orrin's house. In my home. Psst, mister. You just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice and... And old Zadok will fill your ears. Where can I find this Thomas Waite? Why, you're uncommonly kind, young fella. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. <laughs> now you be calling me crazy. Like them that's the rumor in an anchor and lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before he was up. <clears throat> old Captain Mobit where it all began. Telling desperate folks they'd order get better gods. Them's that that answer the prayer. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Uh, they did. 
It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Um, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of forty-six. Them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. Shooting and screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were knowing what was good for us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old Wes about oaths of Dagon. I, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Scare the mariner. Where did Captain Obed Marsh learn of these heathen matters? In war and foreign parts, the old fool I lent to ways of making gains, doing heathen things. He found a tribe of Kanakis in the South Seas led by a savage. Chief went by the name of Walakea. And his tribe never went without food, for they had all the fish they could catch. Old Obed learned from his Walakea that these things on this earth as most folks never heard about. Seems these Kanakis was worshipped in undersea gods, with heaps of human sacrifices and other heathen things. But they was getting all kinds of favors in return. Plenty of fishing and even gold now and then. Human sacrifices? Maybe you've had just a bit too much. <clears throat> I don't blame you for not believing it, young fella. But just answer me this. Why did Captain Obed roll out to the reef of Satan and chant a lot of rites and incantations in the dead of night? So loud you could hear them all over the port. He cast something in the water that he out the other side of Devil's Reef. Some kind of thingamajig crafted out of lead. It was given to him by a while again. So, what happened? Well, not long after the smoke started coming out uh, the chimneys at the old gold refinery, the Marsh family and those that had joined with Obed in his ways started prospering in the esoteric order of Dagon. Came into being with his Ethan Sermon. Sermon. So, uh, the sh that shit they do. What kinds of ceremonies? Mm. Yeah. Get out of here, lad. Don't waste for nothing. They'll know now. Um. I think he's had his fill for the night. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. 
And just hold on there a minute, sweetheart. Are you gonna even tell me your name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence, and unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly. We don't have much time. You've got to follow me. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange? Trust me, I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. Jack, swell to see you again. Any leads on the Burnham case? Nope. Did you know the lad at all? Just pleasantries. Seemed a nice enough fella, if a little rough around the edges. Strange business, though. I'd never have fingered him as a crook. The First National was a well-run store, a rare thing here in Innsmouth. Okay, Mackie. Thanks. Goodbye, Jack. Be careful what you're doing. Very careful. Insmith's a dangerous place. Not everyone who visits here ends up leaving by the old bus route. This Mackie character knows plenty, but I don't think grilling him for scraps of information is gonna crack this case. It won't budge. Budge. It's unlocked. See you without fire. I'll report your order. I'll not say nothing. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Just leave me be, stranger. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Just leave me be, stranger. It won't open. It won't budge. Budge. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Can't say I noticed what you're saying, stranger. It's the entrance to the town poorhouse. Do you need any help?
Disease is rampant in this town. It won't budge. Since old Lady Warren's passed away, the food is rotten, but we'll die soon enough. What are you looking at there, old timer? Nothing. I'm just looking. What you doing in old Warren's house, young feller? This hole is for the broken dying. I'm trying to find Dock Street. It's out back of the house. Everything in Innsmouth is rotten and dying. Windows boarded up, and all sorts of curious barking and crawling around black cellars and attics. How would you like to be living in a town like this, fella? I've been to more welcoming places. I don't think he's been outdoors for years. He isn't gonna know anything. This almshouse is home to the old and the destitute. Nothing of interest. The old woman's dead. It won't open. It won't open. These posters are everywhere. It won't open. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked in the First National. Can't rightly say that I know him. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. It's getting late outside. Folks that know what's good for them are safely both in their homes by now. Hello there, little lady. Hi, sir. Are your parents at home? Daddy's at work, and Mommy's upstairs, in the attic. She's been bad. I see. So, what's your name, little lady? Ramona. Well, Ramona, could you get your Mommy for me? Nope. Mommy bites. Daddy says we've got to keep her up there for her own good. Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love Mummy like I love my daddy. You don't say. Ramona, I really need to speak to your daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayons. That would be great. Thanks. I should check the place over while I've got the chance. Nothing of interest. Nothing of interest here.
What are you drawing, Ramona? Pictures of mommy and daddy. <laughs> it won't open. It won't open. An old chest of drawers. Nothing of interest. It won't open. It's a recent family photo. The corner's been torn off. I can only see Thomas and Ramona Waits in the picture. It won't open. It won't budge. The door's bolted shut. It won't budge. It won't budge. What are you drawing, Ramona? Pictures of mommy and daddy. It won't budge. It won't open. The door's bolted shut. Looks like a diary. There's blood and scrape marks on the walls. Oh, God, no. They've taken the last thing I love away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've been the talk of the town all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston, that he was copped by the Order of Dagon. Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with a crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the Order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combinations in my diary, upstairs. Hurry, Jack! What the hell's in the safe, anyway? You've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for murder. You'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. He killed his own daughter, and that's less than blood. There's plenty wrong with that. I'm reckoning you do well to mind your own business, stranger. It ends must we handle things by the old ways.
Jack, Jack. Oh, thank God I found you. Waite's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was something in the attic. Some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police drag Waits off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We gotta do something. Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah. I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll help you heal. You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca. Will you be leaving soon? This bus ain't going nowhere to Lightfella. Engines broke, they say. Have to wait till morning. Damn. Is there another bus out of Innsmouth? No, but there's a hotel behind it. Gilman will have board for the night. <sighs> 